All right, it's another edition of Fast Five. The sun is shining it down on us. That's the opinionated diverse bird, man. I'm Scott. Let's go. Question number one. The best three words to describe this Rage and Cajun baseball team is blank. Determined, overachieving winners. Water, hose, boys. That quote has basically went viral now from Coach Rowe. We don't want a mom bringing you power. We want guys to drink out the hose. I invite all Cajun fans this week to drink out the hose. I got it. I got. Did you see the picture of the two kids? It's it's all over Facebook now, and one of them's drinking out of the hose, and the other one's got a big smile on a Cajun. He's pouring out the power rain. I love it. Question number two. The Baton Rouge Super Regional will be blank. Fun. It's going to be fun. I know it's getting a little intense with some of the fan base, but ultimately, as Coach Rope said earlier this week, these are two programs that have been carrying themselves with class, and it's very easy to just remove the C and the L. They're not planning on doing that. They're going to put on a great show. It's going to be great baseball in the state of Louisiana, and ultimately, it's the Cajuns and Tigers in a super regional. Fun is the word. The toughest ticket in Louisiana college baseball history. There are so many people that want to be able to attend this. And yeah, some of those ticket exchange places are going to have tickets for sale, but don't think for a minute you're going to go get them at face value. I saw yesterday there was one site where tickets in the bleachers were $1,000 a piece. Wow. Question number three. Titans rookie quarterback Marcus Mariota led the entire NFL in jersey sales in the month of May. Surprised? Yeah, uh, yeah, I am. Um, he hasn't played a game yet. He's going to be a Tennessee Titan. I mean, there, now there's a bastion of, of, of jersey sales. I guess the reason for that is because I have no idea. What? He led the NFL in jersey sales? No disrespect to Mariota, but it's not like he came in with this flair like Johnny Manziel did, who, by the way, is no longer in the top 25 of jersey sales. And Jay just said it. The Titans? Like, good luck to you, kid, but really? You led the NFL in jersey sales? He led the NFL in jersey sales in May. What the hell? Really? Question number four. The New Orleans Pelicans hiring of Alvin Gentry was blank. The right hire. We came on a day after Monty got fired on Fast Five, and I said this is who they should hire. Got some blowback. People aren't that excited about it. It's not a sexy name. More stake than sizzle here. It's all about that staff. He's already brought in Darren Ehrman as the head uh, associate head coach. He's going to focus on the defense. Gentry is going to get an up-tempo style, improve the pace, and get the best out of this offense led by 22-year-old Anthony Davis, baby. The Crescent City Connection. I agree it was the right hire, uh, and maybe for a different reason. I really think this, uh, this New Orleans team, which has got some youth on it, can use a coach, first of all, it's been around a long time, but secondly, is a player's coach who can encourage and nurture a basketball team. You know, you, we were talking about Tom Thibodeau, and you know, he's a good basketball coach, but he's much more of a my way or the highway type of guy. I think Alvin Gentry, from a psychological standpoint, is the best that the Pelicans could have hired. Jay Walker used to be a coach at the youth level. Were you a player's coach, or were you more of Tom Thibodeau? No, I was Tom Thibodeau. I was, I was a jerk. Look at that guy. There you are. Are you surprised? No. Question number five. Novak Djokovic is blank. Not human. I don't think he's human. I, I, I really think he's, he's like, what was the name of the bionic man? years ago, the six million dollar man. I, at any rate, um, no, it's not him. He's just, he's just put together, he's a robot. He's the best tennis player on the planet. Did you see what he did to, no, no, uh, to Rafael Nadal on the clay this week at the French Open? Straight sets, he took him to town. This guy is playing at another level right now. He is the best tennis player in the world. And if you're not watching him, you're truly missing out. Do you have any uh, promoting things you want to do before we leave? No, let's just uh, let's get out of here. Fast Five, we'll see you next week. That's Jay. I'm Scott. Bye. <laughs>